Hey everybody, as always, a big welcome back. And if you have never been on my channel before, I'm really hoping by the end of this video you're going to click a like button and subscribe. Today I want to show you what I did. I went and I bought a DJI uh, flame wheel for F450. Um, I bought this and I'll show you. I bought it used, but I'll show you everything I bought with it. Um, so this is the actual unit itself. Uh, I've never had one like this. I had my CX-20 um, Cheerson that flew away. And then I was really looking to get a DJI um, Vision Plus. But um, I ended up getting a good deal on this. And so, But if you want to know how much I paid, you're going to have to wait. First got to see everything I got and then we'll talk price. So here's this. It's got uh, I don't know, the controller stuff in it. I don't really know this stuff is the only problem, so I'm going to have to pay somebody to um, kind of show me how to use it because I don't know how to program anything, but all right, so I got that, and no peeking. I'm going to put this over here, and I'll bring out everything one piece at a time. So for starts, I got a Spectrum DX7, which I used to have the DX6i. Um, so, and it is, uh, already bound to this, um, so that's good. And what's great about this is that it's like a huge mystery. I have absolutely no idea how to use it. If you go back, way, way back in history in my videos, I had the, uh, Blade F, or the Blade, uh, 350, um, Heli, and it had the DX6i I just said, and I had no idea how to use that one either, so... Perfect. Nothing better than not knowing how to use it. So, got that. I got some blades. Don't worry, stuff's going to get better. I got, uh, I got a few sets of blades, um, which is great. Always need blades. Um, doo -doo -doo, this is a Spectrum. I guess that's for the receiver portion. Oh yeah, that's I guess that may be right on top or something. Perhaps, I'm not really that good at that stuff. Anyways, I got a box for that. This is just the uh, package from this. Thought maybe they'd have the price on it, but it doesn't. So I don't actually know how much that thing costs new. Um, this is straps for batteries. This is the battery for making it run, um, which is a 5200 milliamp 4 cell. So that's pretty good. Um, that's a big battery. That's a, that's a lot of battery right there. And he said he was getting about a 20 minute power or flight time running a gimbal and everything. So I got that. Two of the little batteries, which are for um, use those for you know, uh, powering a gimbal. So this wasn't actually powering the gimbal. That was just lifting the helicopter. And he had these for the uh, for the gimbal. Don't worry, there's more surprises coming through. This is a whole pack of random shit, I guess. I don't know. It's got all kinds of different parts in it. A battery splitter, um, rubber bushings, a battery um, voltage meter, which uh, you plug in. And... Uh, fly around with that so that it doesn't go dead or something or it doesn't fall out of the sky because unlike the other ones that have that built in like my Cheerson had the battery voltage meter built in this one doesn't um, here we have a gimbal uh, for GoPro it is currently a part it just needs the bushings put back in because um, it was removed from the quadcopter but uh, it seems to all be intact it was about a hundred bucks, he said. Um, so it's a little fancier looking than actually than the one I had before. Um, but so cool. Um, some original feet off the first one, but he's only got three of them here apparently, so they're not much good. But this was all new frame. He'd had it rebuilt after a crash or something, so. Um, and then he just got out of the hobby is really what happened. Uh, don't worry, we're going to continue. I'm saving kind of some good stuff for the last guys. 
uh, battery charger. Not that exciting because I've got my IBMAX um, charger anyway, um, which is all digital and you know discharge and all that. So if any of you guys want to give me the tip, how often are you supposed to discharge? I've read online something about every fifth time or something. Maybe some people do it all the time. I don't know. Um, this is a charger for the remote. This remote actually has a battery pack in it, the, uh, the transmitter. This is the cable to plug in the, uh, the quadcopter to the computer for setting it up, but I have absolutely no idea what to do with that. Unfortunately, here's the NASA system, um, or whatever, the, for the GPS. It broke, and I don't think it's any good anymore, though unfortunately so I gotta like buy a new one um, or he didn't think it would be good maybe it still would be I don't know what is what do you guys think I mean, you think that's somehow fixable I got no idea how much is a new one even I got no idea we'll have to figure it out all right um, next is a GPS tracker and I was like oh wouldn't that have been nice on my uh, CX 20 you can buy these on eBay for like 20 bucks and basically it's just a little thing that imitates like a cell phone. You put a SIM card in it, you buy a prepaid SIM card. There's a battery in here and software. There's actually, I think, two batteries. Yep, two batteries. I don't know, whatever that is, a charger and directions and all that. And what it's supposed to do though is you put a SIM card in there and your battery and all that and you put it on the quadcopter and then in the event that it crashes you text it and it will text you back with the coordinates so uh, so you can get it back which really once again that would have been awesome if I had had that on my other one and you know what the funny thing is is I kicked myself in the ass because I did look at stuff like that on eBay and I didn't buy one and the only thing, the other thing that would have helped is I wish I had had FPV because if I had been flying with FPV, I could have saw where my quadcopter went. And so, what else did this one come with? Oh, Fat Shark FPV. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Um, he already showed me this working. So, there's a battery. I don't know. This is for something. I don't remember how he had it anyway. This goes on the uh, on the actual quadcopter. So I think maybe one of these gets plugged into one thing and then the other thing gets plugged into something else. So I don't know. But got that. And then in here is... I guess I should have paid a little more attention to what he was doing. Here's the actual goggles, which somehow we can turn those on. I wasn't paying attention to that either. Um, uh, sorry guys, I'm probably taking this out of focus here. All I know is that this goes in here so that I can look like a spaceman, which because that's awesome. Uh, people probably really think you're funny looking with this shit on your head, but I don't care. I'll sit in my truck and I'll fly around all day. Um, yeah, I don't know. He had had something plugged into the side, so maybe this had to go in here. There we go. That seems to work. That's staticky. With you guys right here, let's try to figure out this camera. What is? What do you guys figure this plugs into? Has it got a battery in it? How do we? Uh, I don't know, how do you uh, turn this on? I think maybe it's got to plug into something on the quadcopter. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that's the system. Once I figure it all out, it's probably going to be awesome. I'm just guessing. I have no way to know if it really is. Maybe it's going to be totally not awesome. But uh, yeah, I'm really hoping it is. Maybe one of these cables is for for this. This looks like that actually looks like it would fit right into there. And somehow, just like that. And then I think this plugs into 
a battery or something. Anyway, I'll figure it out. I got lots of time. Um, that's it. So that's the bundle, guys. You go ahead and leave your comments downstairs, or do you think I've just gotten in way over my head and I sell it? Oh, shit, you guys didn't even know. I didn't tell you what I paid for all that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, 300 bucks. 300 bucks for everything. Um, and the only thing is, is like I said, the, the kid had crashed it, and he, uh, he had paid to have it rebuilt or something, and then he just decided not to not to get into this. So he had crashed and broke the original landing gear or whatever. So then he paid and had this one on. And, and then he's never flown it since. So now it needs to be... Um, the GPS needs to be replaced. He didn't suggest flying it without the GPS. So he said buy a GPS for it. And... Um, once I do that, I need the antenna for this because he couldn't find it, so I need another antenna like the one on the Fat Shark. Throw that in there. And then um, and the GPS. And the one motor he wasn't sure about because it had smoked at the accident. Um, so he suggested replacing it or replacing them all. They're not very expensive. I haven't plugged them in to try them out yet. It could have just been a fluke. It could have been dust. It could have been whatever but they're not very expensive, so probably just gonna go ahead and replace those. And then uh, I'll probably just have to pay a hobby shop to configure it for me, because I have no idea how to configure this. I don't even know where to mount the uh, the gimbal or anything. Now I gotta go buy a new GoPro. And um, figure out my FPV, just because that is awesome. I can't wait for that. So, uh, Give me a like guys if you haven't subscribed go ahead and please do uh, and That way you can see videos when I actually get this thing up in the air um, Or when I attempt to get it up in the air you may just see me um, crash it and stuff But uh, Yeah, I don't know. Here's some directions. I was just kind of looking there. It looks like this plugs into that which is probably that board on there, the one with the missing antenna thing. That very well could be it. So, uh, anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Give me that like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. If you want, go back and check out my uh, CX-20 videos because it was a fun quadcopter, and they've come down a price, three hundred and uh, or 295 bucks or eight, 285 bucks online now. Can't beat it. It is great fun, but I'm an experienced pilot now, so it was time to uh, level up. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you next time.